creating a cryptocurrency wallet. Okay, so now we're going to create a wallet. Remember, there are many wallets for you to choose from, such as Trust Wallet, Coinbase, My Ether Wallet, and so on. But we are going to stick with MetaMask. To follow along, make sure that you have the Chrome browser installed. Then go to metamask.io. And when you land on this page, click on Download for Chrome. Here we're going to simply install the Chrome extension. Click on this button, Add to Chrome and let's say add extension. We will now have the extension here in our extension panel after we have installed it. The first time that you install the extension, it will take you to this page. And if you don't see this page, you can simply go to your extension and go and search for MetaMask, here it is, and select it. This will open up this page where we can now create a new wallet or import an existing wallet. We are going to choose create a new wallet. Then there are some data privacy things that you can agree to and we're going to say yes. And now we get to create a password. This is a normal password, but you need to remember it. So just create your own password. Now that I've added my password, I'm going to check this checkbox and click on create wallet. This will take us to this Secure Your Wallet page. Now you can watch this video and I highly recommend it. And it gives you two options. I highly recommend that you secure your wallet. So we'll go with this one. And you can keep on reading. It just tells you how secure uh, you need to be storing this. Because it is very serious, this master key, as they explain. The secret recovery phrase. So let's go ahead and click secure my wallet. Okay, so now we get to see our secret recovery phrase. Now keep in mind, you should never show this to anyone. I'm going to reveal it on this educational video because I will replace it later on. I will make a new wallet. But for the educational purpose, I'm going to click reveal secret recovery phrase. And here it is. Now, like we said before, when it comes to these keys and security phrases, please write them down and store them at a secure location so that you can always have access to them if you need to recover your account. And the order of these words, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on, matters. So write one, seminar, two, spoon, three, safe, like so, so that you know that you also have the order correctly. Okay, so once you have done that, once you have written this down, maybe copy it and store it somewhere safe, then you can go ahead and click on next. MetaMask will ask you to verify some of the key phrases to prove that you have written them down. And then we've successfully created a wallet. So we are done. We can say got it, next, and you can also read up on some of these extensions. So now this is our wallet and we can see that we have zero ether and we know that this is ether because this says ETH, but also we can verify that we are on the Ethereum main net. Now I'll discuss this in just a second and go through some of the nuances with this wallet, but also we are not going to always look at our wallet like this. Most likely, we are going to click on the extensions and open it like so. We can simply view it like this. This is because when you need your wallet, you'll most likely be on some kind of website and to quickly access your wallet, you'll just click on your extensions, open it and maybe complete some kind of transaction. Maybe you want to send some ether or sign a message and that's why it's convenient to have it as an extension. Now let's look at a few important things. The first thing I want you to understand is that MetaMask supports many blockchains and many different networks of those blockchains. For example, here we are on the Ethereum main network. But soon in this course, we'll add other networks here as well. Maybe test networks of Ethereum or Binance Smart Chain. But the network that you are on here matters because 
you will see different balances depending on which network you are on. For now, we are just simply going to stay on the Ethereum main network. The next important thing is this icon over here. This symbolizes the current account that you are on. I am on account 1. And if I click there, I can see that account 1 is here. Now, we can see that an account has a public address. And this is how it looks. We can't see the full one. For that, we can copy this to clipboard. And in my text editor, I'm going to paste this in here. This is my public address for my account 1. And this is perfectly fine to share. Because we send this to someone if they need to send us some ether. So this is okay to share. And this is my account 1. Now if you remember a wallet also has the private key. And as recommended you should also store this private key securely somewhere else. However how do we get access to our private key? Well we can click on these three dots and click on account details. And here at the bottom, we can export private key. This will ask us for our MetaMask password. And once we've entered this and click on confirm, we should see the private key. And this you shouldn't show to anyone as well. So just store that, make a copy and store it safely. And then you are assured that even if you lose your wallet, you can then restore it and get the funds out. Alright, so that's a bit about the public key and the private key and then we get to the Ether balance. This is where your balance of Ether will show up and it will display the US dollar value of the current Ether that you hold. For the rest of the buttons like not connected and all these and these two tabs, we'll get to that in the course. I want to show you something else and that is, if you click here at the top, you can create another account, simply by clicking on it. And we're going to leave it as account 2, but you can also rename your accounts. Let's just create. And just like that, we have another account with its own public key that looks like this. And it also has its own private key, which remember, you can export over here. Now, this is important because we have now this account and we can switch between them. We can click on our icon and switch between account 1 or account 2. And these act like two separate wallets because you can send Ether here to this address or Ether to this address. You can create as many different accounts as you want to and Fun fact, if you lose your account or all your accounts that you've created with the secret recovery phrase, if you have that secret recovery phrase, you'll be able to recover all the accounts that you created. So, that is how cool and how important it is to save that recovery phrase. For now, we are going to only use our account 1. But, you can now be very proud because you just created your very own cryptocurrency wallet.